Assalamualaikum, Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In yet another video, we are going to answer the question, what is the normal sperm motility for fertility in men? So, in the last video, we answered the question, what is the normal sperm count for uh, you know, fertility in men? So, the normal sperm count is about 15 million per ml and the normal sperm motility that is required for an individual or for a male to father a child within the first year of marriage is basically around 32%. Now, the, when it comes to the subject of motility, what's important to understand here is that the progressive motility is, uh, is, is very important because the progressively motile sperm is defined as that sperm which moves from point A to point B. So if you look at the image on the right, uh, if, if a sperm moves from one point A to one point B in a particular microscopic field, that sperm is, is scored as a progressively motile sperm and only progressively motile sperm can actually contribute to a pregnancy. So, if a man's ejaculate or the man's semen contains 32% of progressively motile sperm, the likelihood or the chances of fathering a child in the first year of marriage is very high. Now, for individuals where the value is less than 32%, say if it is 28% or 29% or 27%, the chances of fathering a child in the first year of marriage may not be there but there will still be a chance of fathering in the child in the second year or the third year of marriage now uh, in if an individual has very very low sperm motility uh, in this condition is called as asthenozoospermia and here the progressive motility is usually less than 32 percent these individuals have difficulties with bearing a child through natural conception so you say if a man has a sperm motility or a sperm progressive motility of 10 percent 12 percent or maybe 3 percent or 2 percent these are very very uh, these are very very low values of progressive sperm motility these individuals will truly have male factor infertility what's also important is with respect to sperm progressive motility or the normal sperm motility uh, never go by one single semen analysis report. So say you have visited a semen analysis laboratory or a sperm testing lab near you and you have done a semen analysis report and you find that uh, your one report value showed less than 32%, right? So maybe you have 25% or 24%. All you have to do is again recheck the semen analysis, you know, in the same lab and reassess your sperm progress report. So many times, you know, what we do is for patients who come to our clinic, they come with, you know, asthenozoospermia or low sperm progressive motility. All we do is, you know, recheck the semen analysis and most of the time it turns out to be normal. Uh, this is because, you know, the scoring of sperm motility has to be done accurately and there are many labs, you know, that are commercial, commercial established big blood laboratories, you know, are not very specialized in, you know, actually doing uh, the semen analysis, you know, as per the WHO 2010 mm -hmm. recommended guideline values and they don't have trained technicians and you know this, these are all you know technical errors you know we are still the the field is new and you know people are still being trained in the field there are not labs are still not well equipped so that's why fertility clinics are usually the best place you can go go to for a sperm testing for a sperm test or a assessment of sperm motility so uh, that's one that's another point that you have to take home but apart from that what's very important to remember is that the normal sperm motility normal sperm motility needed for a fertile man to father child in the first year of marriage is about 32 percent so remember the number 32 percent and any value usually between 31 percent to 36 percent is considered the normal range so yes say suppose you have a report that shows 30 percent or maybe 31 percent that one or two percent or even three percent uh, you know change is not very significant right it's not clinically significant so that even pregnancies can happen then so anytime you do a semen analysis report, you should see your values are slightly less than 32%, please don't get alarmed. Just go recheck your, re your semen analysis and uh, remember, a 2-3% change is really not clinically significant. Only gross values where 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, you know, from the cutoff of 32%, if it is lesser, then that is something that's clinical asthenosuspermia that has to be treated properly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon with another video. This is Dr. Shahad Abish Khan signing off for now. Welcome and Namaste. Yeah.